Hello guys, Jean Plena here, today with another tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how I did the backgrounds for the for these animations the backplates so I'm not going to go with a specific background but this were just random you can use your imagination. This one was taken from... This one in specific was taken from methods. I, this was the first one I did, so I wanted to be similar. So I will, I will show you how I did this one. And... Then you just mess. Just mess with it. So I did it in Max. So to start I just I'm just going to go to the front view and start drawing. So first thing I did I just created a circle 15 and I used the snap and I use I centered the pivot right where the right in the middle so here wait all right so i just centered yep so next thing i'm going to do is convert this to an editable spline and disable the snap tool and center this on the z on the ground so zero as you can see now you can increase the steps to make the it more smooth or just enable adaptive all right I'm just gonna look for this as a reference as you can see we have a circle here and we have a bigger circle and like a rectangle so I will just scale this out down a bit and duplicate as a copy and just scale this up yeah this is good and let's create another shape this time a rectangle so something like this and convert this to an editable spline and just I will just move this one up and this yeah it should work now it's a spline I will just attach attach this big one and make sure the adaptive is on and I'm going to select the um, the the big spline the big circle and on boolean I think I used onion yep as you can see it creates an union between those two and that's basically it so I come to the front view and I create a, a ground plane so I will just create a box move it down edit some segments all right like this so it's easier to see and I will extrude this one something like 0 0.5 just add one segment and you can see it but it's here the small circle I will extrude it as well but something larger like 0 0.7 maybe one maybe even more uh, it's extruding on the opposite direction so I will just minus 0 0.5 yeah and then just uh, create a box and make a backplate so I will just center this here right. I will just extrude this one a little bit more like minus one 
yeah and this one as well so I will do minus one on this one and on this one minus two minus two point five yeah looks good I did this in the opposite direction but it doesn't matter you can just rotate this and center but I will I will do with this one I used the the camera I used in Udini just export the camera but on the, this case I will create a V-Ray camera I'll replace it and just move it a little bit up yeah this should do now for the materials I rendered this with V-Ray so on the sign rendered I will use the V-Ray advanced all right, let's jump to the materials and I will use the um, V-Ray material. A standard V-Ray material. All right. And on the reflect, I use something like 15. Not too much. 0.99.6 on the glossiness. I will copy this to here, to here, and to here. This one I'm gonna call it floor, and I will make it a little bit more darker. I will assign this to here. I can assign this to the wall. Yeah, I will make this blue. At this point, it's just personal preference. Yeah. This should work. Um, and I will send this to the wall. This one will just, I don't know, green circles should do. So I'll just create a green circle. And the outer piece, I will just use uh, pink. And I will send this here. And I will send this here. Now for the light, I used the uh, a standard VRL dome light, so type dome, place it anywhere in the scene, use the texture, VRL HDRI, go to the materials, and place the HDRI as an instance, and just grab, uh, I don't know, some studio light, let's use the, I think I use this one. Make sure it's on spherical. All right, let's just make this shaded. And for the render settings, I used. Um, I will go through my settings. Let's just change the resolution so it's higher. Seven twenty is fine. I used the uh, adaptive uh, image sampler. I used the image filter to. I think cut more ROM or V-Ray Lanzos filter, I'm not sure. Uh, and one last thing I forgot to mention is... Uh, I'm creating lights. Um, on the ground floor, this one, I just moved it. And these two, I just moved them a little bit up. So it creates this gap here. So I think this is fine, should do. So let's go back to the render settings. And I used a really draft um, image sampler because it was on the background and it was blurred. As you can see, it still gets a nice quality. I will disable the image filter for now so it's easier. The global DMC really low as well and on the GI I also used uh, make sure you use camera path if you have uh, camera path I use really low sub divs and sample size so now if we hit render as you can see it's really low quality so let's just increase this and boost the light 
are the the camera I didn't use Fignet the neutral it's just 250 and boost the light something like that let's jump to the camera render As you can see, the the ground is too dark, so I will just increase it. So let me just disable the message on error. So I will make this two and disable the div divide shading so div so it's faster. Jump to the material and make this. Or something like my right hand. Yep, let's see. As you can see, it's still too, it's too reflective, so I will decrease that. So maybe seven should do. This is fine here. I don't like the green tone, so I'll make it whiter. And this one is too saturated as well. And increase the something like 200. It's too much but here. Yep. Here put it. Let's see. Another test render. Yeah, this looks better. Yeah, way better. It's still too dark. Just increase the the white on the material add some camera animation I think this one is too much so minus two should do as you can see it starts to look way better just add some color correction and yeah just mess with the the booleans on the curves and yeah, that's basically all I did to, to achieve this effect. Just mess with the colors on the materials, make your own. Uh, yeah. As you can see guys, it's really simple. Just mess with the, the, the shapes and the booleans, make some in, interesting, interesting effects. And I'll see you later. Thanks.